My name is Viola Delgado. I am from Dallas, Texas, and born and raised in Sinton, Texas. This was something I wrote for my mother, who passed away in 2000, and I wrote it in 2006. Wherever she went, only the freshness of blossoms lingered. Even on a hot day, she could bring coolness and calmness. It was an aura, unlike any that I had seen before. Only a dream could be a competition. I could not remember when I knew her greatness. Maybe it was at her first breath, maybe it was as her last. By the end of the journey, I knew she was like no one else. I knew. I had watched her many times, nurturing and loving each one of her children. I had watched her wipe away every nightmare, every salty tear. Yet I wanted to be the one. This would always stand between us. As an enemy that would never give up, I held her close to my heart and cried. Once again, I had been left out. Once again, I had chased a dream, and the enemy had won. I took a deep breath and walked away. I wondered what to do next, rambling in senseless words. Once again, I wanted only one more glimpse, one last hug. November 14, 2008. The wind changed to a gust of cold, bitter wind. I was out in Serial, Oklahoma, traveling through the rural area of the country many white rock roads and red clay. Stopped on an occasion to take a picture or two of rocks, creeks, waters, cows, old windmills, trying to record all the landscape that I could see. As I drove out further, where the road seemed to go on forever and ever, I suddenly stopped at a cross in the road and just listened. Oh God, it's a beautiful voice. The whisper of the wind. If you never heard it, it is magical. I became very melancholy in thought, and I didn't want to move. Just listen. It was as if nothing else existed, nothing at all. I wanted it to get even, I wanted to get out of the car and just let it take me with it. So I did. Stepping out slowly, and carefully, as if not to disturb its pattern, its song, its music. It was in me, gushing through my blood, electrifying every nerve ending, and I just stood there with my eyes closed, being embraced by its tenderness, and yet at times its boldness. I felt so safe, so in the moment. Suddenly my eyes were open, and as I looked to my left, there, as clear as the day was, an Indian man on a horse, just sitting there looking, no shirt, wearing a headdress, strong, just sitting on this horse. His hair didn't even move to the wind. The horse's hair didn't move to the wind. He was just there. I wanted so much to run to him, but my feet felt so heavy. I could not move, then he was gone, as if nothing was disturbing him or disturbing anything around him. I knew him, I was sure, he was me, I had been him, I was him. I knew that when I realized he was gone, it would be a long time before I would see him again, for I had seen him in a dream a long time ago. I had reached for the door and realized at that moment that I had never gotten out of the car. My face was wet with tears. I knew that I had been in a moment and in the past all at one time. This was part of my journey to the Red Land.